and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Justin is going to be baptized at Mass this evening. And then he will be confirmed. And then he will come up to receive his first Holy Communion. And then we're going to distribute envelopes. I'm just kidding. About that. <laughs> <laughs> that it's going to be a great celebration in which we welcome a new member into the body of Christ. As we prepare to celebrate this Mass, let us ask the Lord to forgive our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am free. Thank you. 
None of us lives for oneself. And no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life. That he may be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Justin. 
who've known each other now for a couple of years, and I've watched his spiritual growth and development. And I can tell you that he seeks the Lord his God with all of his heart, with all of his soul, and with all of his strength. Because of Randy's witness of the faith to Justin, Justin called me and asked if he could be baptized a Catholic. He received into the church, received his first Holy Communion and his confirmation. And so I called the bishop. And the bishop said, when do you want to do this? I said, Saturday. He said, that's a good idea. Now, Justin had some concern because he's been locked up for a few years because of some wrongdoing that he's done. And he was wondering how you would receive him.
God has answered his mother's prayers just as the way that God answered the prayers of St. Monica for the conversion of St. Augustine. Others' prayers are mighty indeed. As I tell parents of newly baptized babies, that baby's going to make you pray. <laughs> Especially when they get to be about 16. God hears our prayers and he answers them. If we respond to his grace, the first reading for today, it says, wrath and anger are hateful things. If the sinner hugs them tight, the vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven them. Sometimes it feels really good to get up a good head of steam and to think about vengeance, how we can repay those who harmed us. And we just build it up, and we build it up, and we build it up, and then we run out of steam. Because <laughs> it really doesn't do anybody any good. It's much more difficult to forgive. And sometimes the person who we forgive doesn't want to be forgiven. And they just do more to see if they can rile us up. And when they can't, they get more riled up because you haven't gotten riled up. St. Paul put it another way. Pour coals of kindness upon their heads. Kindness. Not retribution, not vengeance. Coals of kindness. So what do you remember about the early days in the life of Moses? He committed murder and fornication. You remember that? They didn't stress that much in the movie with Charlton Heston. But if you read the Bible, that's what happened. What happened in the early life, the early life of St. Paul? He committed murder against Christians. And he tore children away from their mothers cast the mothers in prison and left the children to fend for themselves and killed the fathers. And what did Paul say about himself? I am not worthy to be called an apostle. But Jesus thought he was because Jesus made him an apostle. God looks deep within our souls and he sees our intentions and he knows. He knows. And he loves us. He continues to love us until we change our minds and have conversion of heart and experience the depths of his love. 
It is such a joy for me to baptize Justin. He's a good man. He's seeking the Lord with all of his heart. And Justin, your mother is so proud of you. She really loves you. And has loved you throughout this entire ordeal. So I accept her love. The forgiving love is a mother. The reason why Christ died and came back to life again is so that we might have redemption. And it's an ongoing process. It's not something that happened once and that was it. It goes on and on and on and on and on. He constantly loves us. God is never past tense. God is always present tense. The word God itself is not a noun, it's a verb. He's always in action, reaching out to us and loving us into existence. Now, I have a baptism to perform, so I must stop here. Would you please stand as we thank our prayer of the faith? Say the, uh, we'll say the uh, uh, profession of faith together. And I want you to notice, Justin, you're not the only one covered in text. God <laughs> <laughs> has infinite compassion on in all creation. Let us now turn to our loving Father with our prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Church, that she may preach Christ's gospel of love. Welcoming all who come to her, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who risk their lives for the sake of the gospel, that they may bear insult and suffering with patience, strength, and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the powerless and oppressed, that sim simple structures of injustice may be torn down, and that all humanity may live in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those struggling with their faith, that they may open their hearts to God's grace, and turn to the Lord with renewed love and commitment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may see the face of Christ in our neighbors and respond generously to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, the hungry and the homeless, that they will be comforted by the knowledge of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Please now include your own intentions in the silence of your hearts. For all of our needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Merciful Father, your love for us surpasses all our hopes and desires. Forgive our failings. Keep us in your peace and lead us to the way of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We spend the baptismal thought.
you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children. I do. You renounce the lure of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin. I do. You renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin. I do. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. You believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, and rose again on the third day. I do. You believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. I do. Now, we will ask the saints to intercede for us as we bless this water. Respond after me, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Responsible be pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. Pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Athanasius. Pray for us. Saint Basil. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint De Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Edith, Saint Edith Stein, pray for us. All you holy men and women of God, pray for us. Almighty God, be present by the mysteries of your great love, and send forth the spirit of adoption, and create a new people, brought to birth for you, the font of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by this humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I would ask you to bend over the front and look to me. You might want to remove your mask. Justin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us welcome our brother into the church. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Having received the waters of salvation and the Holy Spirit of God, you are formally initiated into the Catholic Church. In just a few moments, you will come forth to the altar to receive the body and blood of the Lord Jesus.
such a great weight has been lifted off your shoulder. I know we're not supposed to do this because of COVID-19, but I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> for us, 
the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he willingly entered into his passion. He took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. forward for your first only for you. Thank you. 
every evening mass has been a wonderful celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Accompanying with your blessings from this day forward, O oh Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church with their holiness, and through their works and their charity, foster her growth in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh God, amen. Save my hope for our own. If it is not so, the honor of the Christians is with us. May God repeat you with the comfort and may God open your sons and your hosts by the power of God, trust in the God, saints and all evil spirits, who are all God's glory, speaking.